really being needy right now but welcome to a new vlog i am currently in the fattest rush like i have to leave my house in probably like 15 minutes maybe even 10 and i am currently packing right now as you can see that's literally why i'm wearing a swimsuit right now and this hat we're gonna be going camping we're going camping for julie's birthday and we're only going for two days but i just want to be extra and i want to just glam camp like i want to wear a juicy tracksuit literally every day because i've done the whole rough housing camping like the type where you have to literally shit outside okay we're going glamping. It's not really glamping. We're gonna be going, I'll show you guys everything later, but right now we need to pack because I need to leave. So this is, let me actually, what's a good way for me to show you how we're doing the outfits? This lighting is literally ass, but so far we have this little outfit. I don't even know if it's gonna be cold or what, but I don't even care, you know, just in case. I did this whole little monochromatic look with just this dress, not dress thing, but little shopping and then this Chanel hat chanel it's literally a knockoff but all of this of course is thrifted so we have our first bikini here is a better look of the hat but i totally just slide to you i forgot that the bottoms are actually body glove and i got these from urban when i literally still worked there but everything else is thrifted and then i do have these little packing cubes that i got from amazon when i went to europe last year so i'm gonna be using these i know this is super extra just to go camping this is the second one now we are gonna be camping in santa cruz and obviously santa cruz is really cold i might not even bust out a swimsuit like these are high waist i got these from victoria's secret when i was like i'm not even kidding like 17 so they're super old and i do like that this swimsuit right here does have this so i actually might take this and put this up i'm wearing this a different way and this top right here is thrifted we did get these cute matching cowboy hats that i'm probably gonna wear with this one but i don't don't have that that's at Hannah's right now so the swimsuits I just tossed in here and then we're taking this sexy juicy duffel that I got from TJ Maxx for like $30 so let's put that in there and again we are camping so I don't need like full outfits or anything which is probably why I'm gonna be going with full-on <laughs> juicy and those are all my juicy tracksuits of course all of those are thrifted so this nude BCBG one again because my hair is blue I'm feeling like I want to do why are you being so needy right now but because my hair is blue and as you guys saw i mean i have all pink ones i don't really want to like clash and i've already worn that light blue one so many times that i don't want to overdo it so i think we're gonna do this nude one and then the bottoms are literally like basic actually i think these are nothing special like seriously you can find just basic velour pants any color at the thrift and then we just have this regular black one let me show you guys the back so this is definitely like the OG OG one and then of course just plain black velour sweats again same thing they're not a brand nothing like that but just good to match we have this simple green one um, nothing special about it. it doesn't have anything on the back but only because these bottom ones right here to the talking so again this is gonna make me mad this color as you guys saw like even with my hair that i'm showing you guys it's not showing up properly these are an aqua color these have no shade of blue in them at all i mean i guess aqua does have it but this is like a seafoam green so this matches actually pretty well but on the butt it says bb so we're gonna have this situation going on and let's just snap would you look at that it's perfectly in its cube now are you kidding her birthday is actually today and we're going camping tomorrow so tonight so rude <laughs> tonight i think we're just staying in i have no idea but like staying in and getting food or what we're gonna do so i'm just have this little casual outfit situation i finally got to bust out my favorite little bb top i mean guys i am obsessed with all the detailing like the shoulder and then these earrings that i don't even know where i got these from i'm sorry i have no idea i know though that i did not thrift them so there's that but i did thrift this top you guys know i don't like wearing jeans but something about just like these miss me's honestly i have to keep tugging them on them because they are a little bit like kind of loose on the waist but not really but these are the ones i thrifted not too long ago and then i just paired it with this fake prada very casual i had to definitely roll them up at the bottom because 
um, I am way too short for them and also the butt of these is missing a little thing which kind of sucks all right so I think we're just gonna go with these because I feel like it kind of goes it doesn't go but at the same time it looks so tacky that I love it and this is the brand of the shoe obviously thrifted these as far as what I'm packing I'm just doing some light skincare stuff so this little toner situation I have cotton pads and things in there we have this sunscreen of course because I do not want to burn my face especially because I'm literally gonna be outside the entire time we have this moisturizer that I'm gonna be using a day and night a little bit of eye cream some facial spray I love this it smells so good just for a little refresh and then we just have this tool I'm not gonna say it because I don't know how to pronounce it just to drain my face just in case I get super puffy or anything and I should probably put this in the cotton pad thing so it doesn't get all dirty I don't use makeup removing wipes to remove my makeup but just in case I have these on backup for emergencies because I am gonna be using using bringing a little bit of a concealer who knows if I'm actually gonna wear it or not I have no idea this is the Maybelline fit me in sand this brushed with me to kind of set the under eye because I have to set or else literally I will crease everywhere we're gonna be using this RCMA to set underneath this eyelash curler my two favorite L'Oreal telescopic and then the um what is this one? Just the voluminous, both in black. Why are we not focusing? But yeah, love these. Again, I don't really know if I'm even gonna be wearing makeup because we're literally camping, like who has the time? But you just never know. I have some brow gel and then obviously my actual brow pencil that I need to clip back on because I was just using it. And then some scissors and tweezers that I'm gonna put in here. Again, just in case anything you never know, splinter or whatever. I do have like disinfecting wipes and all of this stuff, but this is just stuff that I'm throwing in my little makeup bag just to show you guys a little handheld lotion because I hate being ashy like I slather my entire body and this I feel like will last me the two days so we're gonna put that in there we have this little lip balm that I can just I don't know lather on when we're at night why is my camera having the hardest time focusing right now but yeah we're gonna use that as well and for more glowy things who knows again if I'm gonna end up using this but just this like little what's up highlighter on my face if I just want to look dewy and glowy and then this milk makeup lip balm in the color I think this one is nug is that what it's called yeah I think that's what it says yeah this is in the color nug and it'll just give like a really pretty color to the lips again just in case I don't know why I'm bringing this um you just never know okay I like to be over prepared and then if I have like hangnails or anything like that I'm bringing these When you literally go camping for not even two full days. <laughs> Why? But look, we got this cute little pinwheel. And a sexy Charlie. And a sexy Hannah. Makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of that. Also, even though we got a tent, we might sleep in here too because James is like building stuff. Like, look, he strung globe lights, he put a carpet in here, and now he's I don't know what he's doing. You ride? Moto Ho. I do want to ride, bitch. Uh, Alex is gonna fist fight you for touching his bike. My hair is literally a mess, but yeah, it's so overcast. It's actually cold. I mean, we literally looked at the weather and it said it was gonna be cold, so I don't know why we packed it, because there is a beach, but you can't see it. It's back there, so I don't know what we're gonna do, okay? Right now, I'm literally in this fuzzy thing and my green juicy tracksuit and my sparkly Crocs. And shaking it. Okay, give it to me. Ooh, haha, uh -oh. nice. Do you guys recognize this rug from my other vlogs? It was our kitchen rug. Are you kidding? Yeah! Endless roads to the horizon Past the oasis, it's all behind ya Mirage of agua, the stars above ya The creature's days to nocturnal days 
makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the times and make you wonder About the bigger picture in your life The simple times in the Arizona thunder The Arizona thunder tonight what these BITCHs are up to. How's it going? So good. Wow, look, there's a cute little light. Honestly, this is so spacious. It is very This is like a whole ass bedroom size. Whole squad eating an Uncrustable. Mm. Ew. Vibes. Mmm. Mm. Kind of dry. So uh, oh yeah, really dry. Is it weird if I say <laughs> this is my first Uncrustable I've ever had? Yeah. Are you kidding? No. I'm You've never had an Uncrustable? Never. They weren't invented when I was a kid. Do <laughs> you feel enlightened? Alright, so this is oh, the cute little God. entrance. That's my sister's skateboard. We're using it as a prop. And then, look at the bed. I draped the blanket over just to give it, I don't know, I just think it'll look so much more cuter. And then also the lights, but we can't turn them on yet because we don't want to use all the power. And then the little plant, how cute is that? Is that not adorable? Honestly, it's so cozy in here too. And then we have this little hammock that Charlie's gonna sleep on because he just doesn't want to sleep in the tent. And then Hannah put her tracksuit on. So now we match. She's blue with her zebra crocs and then you guys saw i have my glittery ones with my green suit oh my god Who are you talking to? <laughs> my vlog mm. say hi to my vlog hi. you didn't wave you have to say hi vlog hi vlog Honestly guys, um, it's been many days later, probably like three days actually, and I have no idea what I filmed, so I don't want to make this like video too boring. So I might as well just show you because I did go to the thrift store with Hannah and Julie yesterday and I picked up a lot of good things. Not a lot of good things, but I feel like it was kind of good enough for me to show you. And also I want to show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, I don't even know why I have this mirror here because you can never tell when I'm showing you guys anything because the lighting is so terrible, but pretty much everything is thrifted. I finally decided to style this dress that has literally been sitting on this coat rack here, if you guys saw in a previous vlog, I decided to keep, like, get a coat rack and keep it here and fill it with just stuff that I have not worn yet. So anytime I get something new, I can just hang it on here. This stuff I need to put away, but 
that way it's not just like shoved in my closet and I'm able to get like a fresh perspective and just feel way more inspired. So yeah, this was one of those items. Literally, it's been sitting up there for so long. I thrifted this a while back and I finally decided to bust it out. I'm not going anywhere. Literally, all I did today was do shipment, go to the post office and post on Depop. But right now, I am going to be taking some more Depop photos, which is why I decided to put like a little bit of makeup on and do my hair and all of that. And I was like, you know what? Let's make an outfit. These shoes right here, I got from Payless for like 10 bucks I think a couple years ago and yeah that is pretty much it for the outfit she literally jumped up on my lap as soon as I was gonna stand up now what am I supposed to do oh are you comfy right there is she kidding like does she have to do this as soon as I sit down literally why and now I feel bad and I don't want to push her off but we need to go to the living room we need to go to the living room Dun -dun -dun. Watch, look, she's like playing the piano. Okay, you know what? Let's just carry her and walk down to the living room with her in hand because you just can't be bothered, can you, huh? Just want to be held, don't you? Okay, she's like falling. I do not have a good grip on her. This is the worst possible scenario. The amount of times I've done this and not held her right and I've just been scratched up. Oh. Can anyone guess why she was meowing? Because the dog is in the hallway and she doesn't like to be picked up near him because he's just so scary, isn't he? Okay, goodbye. I'm leaving you. And by the way, I did get the stuff from Goodwill. Please do not come for me for the plastic bag. Okay, I'm sorry. So one of the first things that I found is, you guys know I can't help myself, uh, this piece of furniture. Guys, it was five bucks and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it but honestly I think I'm just gonna spray paint it like a creamish white kind of like this color right here and use it as maybe like an end table in the living room maybe put it in the backyard when it's all done I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but for five bucks I had to get it I've been wanting a pillar for so long like I just really want pillars in my house because I'm a psychopath but I can't, you know, there's just this, where is it gonna go? Okay, so I settled for this one, okay? I manifested this tiny ass pillar, but again, it could be a cute little nightstand, honestly. Maybe I could put it like right here, you know, kind of like the entrance to the bedroom and maybe put like a plant over there or something. As far as clothes, I didn't get that many things. Plus I didn't really like fully look through the racks. We were just like popping in and out, but I still did find some good things. Starting with this cropped hoodie. I mean, honestly, I loved this. I wanna get like one of these. I feel like you could only really get them at the fair, but you know, we don't really have any summer fairs right now. And I just wanna get my name with like the graffiti writing or just something like that. Now this pullover I did get for myself, but then when I was showing James my haul, he was like, oh my God, I want that. So this is not, he's claimed it. This is now his. It is just this pullover. I am a slut for any type of like vintage looking pullover. I am obsessed with them. This Slipknot one right here, just very basic. It's funny because when we were thrifting and I was literally wearing a Slipknot t-shirt and then I found this so I was like you know what maybe you manifested this for me I'm telling you I didn't get that many things this is literally the last clothing item that I got and I am so excited to wear this during Halloween this says sorry boys these pumpkins are already taken by a badass trucker and it's funny because James has like his commercial trucking license like he used to do like act trucking you know whatever so i just thought it was funny but it's also funny because i have no boobs and then i just went on this like big hunt where i was like you know what i'm gonna look through all the books like literally the night before i had made a list of books that i wanted to read i always do that like every other month i will look through books that i want and i will add them to my list and i crossed off a lot of the books on my list i got this book eat dirt i have actually been wanting to read this for years it has been on my list i really love 
uh, Dr. Josh Axe. I have listened to a lot of podcasts that he was on, watched a lot of like YouTube videos, things like that. So I really like him. And then this one, Eat Fat, Get Thin. Typically when I read nutrition books, I like to have them on Audible because sometimes these are like not harder to get through, but you really have to be in the mood. So these are definitely books that I will read when I wake up to kind of stimulate my brain a little bit. And this is Mark Hyman. I have read a lot of his books or I should say listen to I've listened to a lot of his audiobooks these two books are just kind of fun they're very easy quick reads so we have the magic which is one of the books from the secret I read the secret I think like a couple years ago honestly recommend it to everybody it is such a good just it's first off a very easy read like I was saying you'll get through it in like honestly you could get through it in a day and it's a manifestation book so if you're into that I highly recommend the secret I see them at the thrift store all the time and then the second one is the four agreements companion book so this is kind of like the second book to the four agreements again this is one of those books very easy to read what they don't teach you at harvard at harvard at hard at harvard business school this i just added to my book list like not even last month so <laughs> Maybe it's time that I'm supposed to read this right now because I have a long list of books and this just definitely popped out at me. And also I saw three copies of this. So if you are curious about this, go to the thrift store. And the last thing that I got, I'm telling you, this is probably like not your daily thrift haul that I do. It's like a cute little fire kitty. And I always have this problem where um, anytime I want to stick something on the fridge, I like tape it. So I got a little magnet for that. And I did pick up one fiction book. So let me show you guys that. So I I keep these by my bedside because like I was saying I do like to read like one book in the morning that kind of like stimulates your brain and then at night I have recently been getting into fiction and I 100% bought this for the cover it's called Outlawed but it's part of Reese's book club if you guys have read the book where the crawdads sing I think that's what it's called actually hold on I think I have it in here and I'm not kidding it's being turned into a movie it looks like this Okay, and as you can see, it has the Reese's Book Club. I haven't read a fiction book in so long. I could not put this down. It is so good. If you're looking for a good fiction read, this one, I'm telling you, shout out Jessica. She got me hooked on this. So good. So when I saw that Outlawed book, I was like, it has that little sticker. I haven't popped it open because I literally bought it yesterday. But I will let you guys know how that one is. And then from Target, some last minute things. I did get this scrub and wash because I was running out of body wash. And I actually used to use this brand all the time when I was like in high school. And I forgot how much I loved it. Plus, it's sulfate free. It is a little bit of a scrub. And why not? You know? just to wake me up in the morning because I love to take showers in the morning and then I got this lotion this definitely has a more like perfumey type of scent so it is pretty strong but I wanted to change it up a bit because I always get like a lavender coconut type lotion and then I ran out of my body oil so I just got this little travel thing I love this I put this on all my scars I don't know if it does anything but being diabetic literally my cat will scratch me anything and that scar will sit there forever Ever. so I just like putting some type of oil on my scars and then of course I picked up another one of these toners this is literally my favorite toner when you take your makeup off at the end of the day I feel like a lot of people don't realize how much makeup is still sitting on your skin so I always like to use a toner just to get anything excess I always have like a little bit of makeup that comes off and just the thought of like if I didn't do that, the moisturizer would just be rubbing all of that makeup in and I'd be sleeping in it. I don't know. It just, ugh, I don't like it. I'm literally being so annoying. I'm like prolonging this vlog. But when I went to Target, I got some new, okay, it's literally so dark. What's the point? I decided to try out a new laundry detergent. I know this is so boring, but Method, the blue one is literally my favorite. It makes my clothes smell so good, but they were out of it and I always get it on Grove and it was sold out and it was literally sold out at Target. So I decided to get this brand and honestly, this smells so good but the fabric softener is a little bit different i'm not joking when i came back from camping i had so much laundry to do look at how much softener i literally got this less than a week ago that's how much i've used but yeah uh, if you guys wanted a good brand i like to obviously do everything clean products when it comes to cleaning so i don't like anything harsh on my skin but yeah i really like this however i must say that the method one definitely 
gives my clothes um like a scent versus this one i feel like doesn't do anything it literally just smells like lavender but it doesn't like really stick to the clothes or maybe it's just because i'm not putting enough i don't know but yeah that i think is pretty much it <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking i just really wanted to share that with you guys because i just am obsessed with cleaning but i guess that is it okay i'm gonna stop talking and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye